There is no doubt about the fact. The Igbo people have the highest nobility in this in Africa. But so far, they are everywhere in the world. This brings me to the recent quick notice issued to the Igbos by the IOI Youth Forum. This is totally uncalled for because it is unconstitutional. The Igbo people are not afraid to explore new terrains. And once the environment seems suitable for them, they settle down, build from scratch, and invest their time, money, and resources. Why? Because they are not lazy and they are not freeloaders. Now, there is a quick notice given to the Igbos to leave their premises, particularly the north on or before 1st of October 2017. What now happens to all their investments? I would like to use me this medium to remind everybody and to whom this may concern that it is written somewhere in the constitution of Nigeria that any citizen of Nigeria have the right to live and own properties in any part of the country. Now I dare say the quick notice is laughable and holds no water because it's obvious the constitution of Nigeria wasn't thoroughly checked before whoever issued the quick notice. Let's talk about Biafra. This has been on the internet and on the lips of everybody lately. Nobody discussed about 1966 to 1970 Biafran War, the 1967 to 1970 Civil War. We all know the consequences. A bunch of us were born there, but we have seen the pictures, and it is not a pretty sight. Now, Biafra 2017, this has to be looked at. Every option must be weighed to avoid mistakes. Have you thought about the Igbo enterprise in many parts of the country? Do you know that Biafra is too small to, for the Igbo enterprise? Do you want to know my stand for Biafra talk? I am on the fence. I believe there is strength and diversity. The North, for instance, supplies the nation with food. The West, that is, Lagos is Africa's largest commercial hub. The East are known for their high versatility and business acumen. The South is the nation's oil repository. Like a means to an end, we all can put together all these amazing endowments together and we will have a better country, Nigeria. It took America lots of hard work and bloodshed to get where they are today. Nigeria is still a work in progress. We all need to have patience with our leaders and pray fervently for them. God bless Nigeria. Adult baby.